Excuse me. Sorry, sorry about that. Oh, I've got chewing gum, that's fine.
Why are they walking so slow? Because they are absolutely fabulous. That's why. Hello and welcome to the BAFTA Television Awards with P&O Cruises Red Carpet 2023. I'm Michelle Passage. I'm Clara Amfo and together we're going to be guiding you through all the BAFTA Red Carpet action before the main ceremony this evening. That is right. The limos are arriving, the tuxes are ironed and most of us are trying to pretend it's comfortable to walk around in five inch heels, but not me though, because I'm supposed to be an expert. Baby, you are an expert. Go I on know then. this to be true. Now we are here in the prestigious Royal Festival Hall on London South Bank, and the red carpet is starting to fill up with TV royalty. And we have got some TV royalty of our very own. Where? The queen. How? I'm looking at you. The queen of RuPaul's Drag Race is here, Michelle Visage, known anglophile. How yes. does it feel to be on the back of the red carpet? I don't know if honor kind of is enough of a word. I am so honored to be here, but most importantly, I'm honored to share this carpet with my friend, you, Clara. You're my actual friend, and people don't even know that. That's it, baby, we are tired. That's we're it. We're ready to do this. I love that, <laughs> and how about you? Um, it's just being here with you, mate. To be honest, there's so much love in this carpet, and it's only gonna continue, right? Low maintenance. That's it, that's <laughs> us. <laughs> and we will be talking to all of our stunning BAFTA nominees live from this cute red carpet. That's it, I mean, what a year it has been for televisions. We've met the Richardsons, we've traveled to a galaxy far, far away <laughs> with Andor and have welled up at Junior Doctors. And obviously, I mean, who hasn't screamed traitor at the TV more times than was healthy? Honestly. Now, I've got to ask you, what was your TV highlight of the year? The biggest gay Sophie's choice in the world with all this incredible <laughs> programming. I'm going with the White Lotus. Excellent, excellent choice. Thank you, what about you? I think it's finding out which Bad Sister did it in Bad Sisters. Ooh, that is Extra worth TV. the ride for that last episode, <laughs> I agree. And for many, tonight will be the highlight of what has been an incredible year in television, but before any of them even set foot on that red carpet behind us, there was of course the infamous nominees party. Yes, the event of the year is always preceded by the party of the year, and as the nominees gathered to let their hair down, we thought it would be a great opportunity to ask you, our wonderful audience, what you would like to ask them. Exactly. And so armed with some questions sent in by you lovely Instagrammers and Twitterers, BAFTA asked some of the biggest stars in television your questions, and here's how they got on. Question. Which contestant on Taskmaster, out of all of them, surprised you the most on how well they did? I mean, no one really does that well. I tell you what, a surprise winner was someone like Rob Beckett. Rob Beckett, yeah. Somehow, he managed to get enough points to win. Yes. Maybe I was just having an off day. I can answer all of them if you want. No. Oh, look at this one. What is your favourite show you would wish that you appeared in yourself? And it goes without saying. Only fools and horses. I'm showing the age yet. If you came back as a ghost, who would you haunt and why? I would haunt, I won't name them, but they're a former Prime Minister. My old teacher, Mr Slater. I'm so sorry, Mr Slater, if you're watching this. What is the role people come up to you in the street for? Maybe Faisal from Four Lions. Somebody would shout like, rubber diggy rapids. I know. So Faisal from Four Lions. You've worked a long time since great people. What is your big scale to clock moment on set? I'm in book the old fit. Um, I was in the theatre, um, I met Daniel Radcliffe, he was doing rehearsals, and that was crazy, meeting Daniel, meeting Harry Potter. <laughs> Claudia Winkleman, are you wearing a wrong neck tonight? Yes, I am. Small tuggy. Carpet tongue or wooden teeth? I'll go wooden teeth. And I'd like them to look like wood as well. Like, nice varnished teeth. How tall are you, Greg? My whole adult life I've been six foot eight. I recently had a medical and the doctor confirmed that I've lost an inch because I'm old. I've gained uh, 35 inches around my midriff, though, so it's all good. Some brilliant answers for some very excited nominees there, all doing a very good job at pretending to be what? Sober. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jay Blades from the repair shop was asked which show he wished he'd appeared in. So, of course, Michelle, I've got to ask you, what show? Go on. Actually, hang on, hang on. I think I know my psychic senses 
One, two, three. White Lotus! Yes! I know. I know. What about you? <laughs> um, I would like to be any character in Big Boys because Jack Rook is a genius. Yeah. Uh, now, back to this carpet. Okay. We are so, so lucky to have the expert judge and fashion queen of RuPaul's Drag Race with us, so we couldn't resist putting a catwalk in this very place. <laughs> exactly. We have created a place for the TV folk to show off their fashion skills and reclaim their inner diva. Uh, Michelle, please, show us how it's done. Oh, I thought you'd never asked. Okay. from the expert here. I oh. know, honey, I got you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here! Yes, Zayna! 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 Jiwa! Hi guys, I'm excellent strutting over there. Thank you very much. You look much. sensational, thank first you. and foremost. I'm trying not to trip, but thank you. Uh, doing a great job. What is your TV BAFTA mission this evening? Other than seeing Killian Murphy look into my soul, uh -huh. <laughs> I am here joined with TikTok and go. BAFTA. Uh, BAFTA and PO Cruz is here for the television awards. And join us at 3 p.m. on TikTok Live to see all the behind the scenes of what's happening. I'm so excited. Oh, we all are. And so honestly, excited. I think the stars are starting to arrive. So you go get in your position. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see what you get up to. Have the best day ever, and see you guys later. Bye, see you Zena. You look gorgeous. But before you do, can you give us a tour? Oh, yes. Cannot. Shall we move? Uh, yes, let's get the women some space. Okay. Oh! Yeah. I learned from the best guys. Oh, go <laughs> on then. Oh. Bye, Zena. Thanks, Zena. Thank you, my love. Well, as you can see, the red carpet is almost open and it is nearly time for us to... I think we should do some work, Michelle, you okay, know? Okay. There are exclusive star-studded interviews to get done. Absolutely, indeed. They are, Clara. But before we do, there's just enough time to have a quick look forward to what's coming up this year in the world of TV. And you'd better buckle up because we may just have a few world exclusives, some sneak peeks coming mm -hmm. in three, two, one. My senses are already being heightened. I would like the ship to go. Now. What is new in season two? Are you ready for your life to change? I don't know about my are <sighs> I like the taste of pine. Tastes like a toilet cleaner. Got a good mind to down tools, never Mars bar. Perhaps it is time to begin again. Oh, you think I came back? I've dried my eyes. Now let's go party. Time to spice up the competition. It's almost like a um, an ancient gazebo. I don't like avocado. Don't try not to take that one personally. Excuse me? Do I swallow loudly? Listen. Three, two, one. So, so, so excited for those incredible looking shows. What a year we've got to look forward to. Well, keep that excitement coming, Clara, because I can tell you that the red carpet is officially open! Yay!
Strictly Come Dancing, but an incredible human, my friend Matsu Mabuse is here. Yay! You look amazing. Uh, you look amazing. <laughs> How long did it take you to figure out what you're going to wear? Oh, uh, I had to plan it. it. A few weeks already I had the dress because I knew what's happening. You know, I've been traveling a lot. So the dress was here before me. It was a week here in the UK while I was still in Germany. Everything planned. Uh, not only you just said you were traveling, you yeah. were Germany. Then you went to Liverpool. Yes. Bucket list. <laughs> Bucket list. I love. Yes, I call it. You're a song vision contest. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and uh, my favorite song, one, Loreen. I'm, I'm a fan of hers for years yeah. already. Uh -huh. So I have just hear this ringworm in my head. No, no, not ringworm. <laughs> earworm. Earworm. You don't want ringworm. <laughs> no, ringworm. <laughs> the earworm. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good time. What we do. I haven't seen her in a week. What is I that know. like for you to be able to? Because you have another sister. <laughs> yes. And she's in South Africa? Yes. So, what's it like for you two to be able to be here and work together and be so successful we love it. and we happy? Love it. Amazing. Yeah. It's, it's incredible because we're just very like close. And uh, now we get to spend more time together. So, I think we see each other so often now. The last week is like, oh, I'm going to see OT. I'm going to see OT. Do you ever fight? We do, but not in public. Really? Yes. You're able to control it? <laughs> yeah, yes. It's no, it's not that far. It's like, you know, it's like my opinion is this, yes. her opinion is that, yes. and then we had it out. And I yeah. think the best part of it is we've learned to move on. Yeah. And we've learned to fight is also okay because we have different opinions. Take it in, reflect, we come back stronger. I feel like this is therapy. It is, it is. <laughs> Everybody sign up for therapy. You kids were therapy. both. Com competitors, competitive yes, ballroom, yes, Latin dancing. Yes. Also, obviously, um, OT became my very, very close friend when we did Strictly Lovely. together. Adore her. But what do you like better? Now that the tables turn. Stop it. Because it's Stop. tough, isn't it? Yes. Isn't it? You know, people think it's easy to judge. I'm going to say yeah, yeah. it's not because when you have competed, you, you know, know that it breaks you hearts, yeah. but it's also necessary to learn yeah. and grow. Yeah. So which are you enjoying? I, I, I mean, I mean, Obviously, I'm enjoying the other side. Yeah, I know you are. You're sitting. I'm eating and I'm talking and, and you, I'm going and, home. And you, get, and you come back a week later. <laughs> That's it. You don't go. That's it. I mean, but yeah. you have a lot more responsibility about yes. what you, you say. say. Like what you do, which you yes. do so brilliant. Yes. They either come back and get better or they talk about it and they don't improve. Words matter when you sit in that position. You have an, yeah. you have an influence. You have to kind of protect, I feel, yes. protect the, everyone. You have to also tell the truth. I agree. You have yes. to also kind of keep them motivated. I think, you know, coming back next week, those words matter. Yes. What gets stuck in your head, you have it the whole week. So I'm really, really careful what words and how I use yes. them. Uh, just for everybody going through it. Because I people think it's easy. No! <laughs> it's not easy on either side. It's yeah. difficult to judge. But before I go, Matze, yes. did you secretly love my Vogue routine? I loved it. You know I loved it. I, I, I love. You, you, know, you know I was like, Thank Misha. you. Okay, can I tell you my favorite moment? Yes. Forever, ever. You did a cha cha. A cha cha. Yes, and you work, and you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will never, ever <laughs> yeah. forget the uh, moment. I stood up. I couldn't. Uh, we all did. We all went, yes! It was such an honor to dance for you and to learn. It's the best show I've ever done. Honestly, what an experience. I got a really good friend out of it. I got another good friend who happens to be her sister. Yes. Um, and it's just such a you joy. You look amazing, by the way, Michelle. Can we just get a turn I mean, from Michelle? Michelle look at that. Give it, give it, give it. It's girl. a leg. You just look amazing. Cha cha one. Get it. Look at us. We're from three different planets. <laughs> I love you, OT. Thank I love you, you Matsu. Have the best time tonight. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for joining me. What a delight. What a thrill in the sunshine. It is the big boys crew. Yay! The big boys. And welcome to the red carpet. Well, thanks for having us. Yeah. Is it surreal, all three of you guys? I mean, look, it's not just yeah. you three, the whole gang's here. Yeah. How surreal is it gang. to be here for the show that you've loved making so much? I mean, it's so like we're all trying not to have a little teary moment because we've all had our makeup done. So <laughs> it's oh, we can't very have that surreal. running. We can't have that, but I mean, it's brilliant. And we're, we're filming series two at the moment, yeah. so we are spending all we're the time exhausted. together. Yeah. We went to the BAFTA Vogue party the other day in one of the transit production crew vans and turned up like as Edward Enifal was getting out, and we were in an eight seater transit. It's but look, great. That, that's how the big boys roll, you know? That's how the big boys roll. I mean, let's go through these nominations, shall we? Okay, three nominations Woo. for. TV craft, writer, comedy, emergent talent fiction. Yeah. And out of all three of those, uh, what would make your heart sing the most to win? 
Do you know what? Like, I obviously want the show to win. And, and, I, and I, you know, I, but I also am conscious we have a Derry Girl with us. And the Derry Girls finale I loved. But the fourth nomination we have is John. Yeah, yeah. And it would mean, that almost would mean the world to me. There would not be a Big Boys without John because I needed to trust somebody to play a character like Danny and play the comedy and the drama. And he's phenomenal. And like, he's also, you know, everyone's all of my actual best mates. So. Fingers crossed for John. Fingers crossed for big boys. Yeah. Yeah. We want a hat trick. We want a yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. I mean, there is so much love that has come uh, for the show. It was made with, with so much love. Look, um, how does it feel sort of looking at Jack every day, working at Jack well, every I day? Mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, Jack. Hang on, I ain't finished, I ain't finished. But look, you know, you, you are essentially being him. Um, has this yeah. been like the ultimate case study for an actor to take on this role? Definitely, it's <laughs> yeah. been so fun. I, and I'm, I'm planning to go to uh, him and his mum's to oh, stay yeah. the night. Little little sleepover. Because we Take film away. we film in Watford, so Dylan's yeah. just going to come stay with me and my mum for a couple of nights. Some homework, you know. Yeah. yeah. Method. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm here for it. Yeah. Um, John, talk to me about how much um, doing this show has um, changed your life and actually changed your relationship with these two fine young men. Well, this yeah, obviously these two like getting to be with these two all the time is is the best. But I don't know. This is the first time I feel like with a job I've been able to like really get into my stride. And Jack, when I met Jack, I think he kind of. Oh, that sounds cheesy as hell, but like saw me for like what I am and like who I am. And that, you know, if you're lucky, you get that with this job. Like you get someone who, who sees that. So that's, yeah. 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 It's so nice because really you think about Big Boys, it's, that show is a comedy through and through, but it's about like the worst things that have sort of ever happened mm. to me and about grief and about mental illness and sexuality and all these things. But it never feels, these two help me make it light. Like, it's the, also the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna get like emotional, but like, we're at the fucking bath. Oh, well, I said the F word. <laughs> it's okay. No, we're no, at the bath. We're at the bath. It, it was always gonna be me. I'm so sorry. Edit it out. <laughs> we're on the freaking bafters. You're really here. And like. Yeah, it's yeah, so it cool. Really it is. feels very good. Sorry. No, do not apologise. And um, talk to me about, I guess, the Vim because it seems like you've got a new Vim. You know, with the love from the from the viewers for series yes. two, has that just put such a fire in your belly for this series to make it even better than the first? It definitely feels different this time because we're filming it now. There's definitely an energy on set, and like most of the crew are the same as well. So mm. it just yeah. feels it feels really really special. It did it did first time round, but you know it's, it's the unknown at that stage. So this time it's. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And last question. Um, now, look, I know you guys uh, like to party, as we've seen Excuse fictionally me? and in real life. Responsibly, of course. Responsibly, of course. So what's the plan uh, tonight if you take home one of those golden bad boys? I'm, either way, it's, 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 it's ending the same, it's I think. Same. <laughs> I actually, in the hotel this morning, woke up early to get a room upgrade. So we got a balcony. Oh. <laughs> Bath to nominate in his shade. Yeah, so I know. We were, we were like, we were going to have a good one, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've gone from being really skint to having like a tiny bit of cash. So <laughs> I might as well spend that on having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. And that is Please. a word. Uh, Dylan, John, Jack, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. And good luck tonight. The biggest yes. of boys. <laughs> It's Sunday here, but for Friday Night Live, Ben Elton is joining us. How are you? Well, very excited, very excited. I'm still in with a show. We're all nominees at the moment, so uh, uh, it's exciting for everyone. It's my first uh, trip to BAFTA since 1989. That so was a good year. It was a great do year. Do you remember it? I do indeed. <laughs> I remember it. I'm wearing the same suit. Yes. Yeah. Are you really? I am indeed. No, you're not. Hey, come on. Okay, I didn't expect to talk to you about this, but how do you keep... <laughs> trim and together well, do you think about it yeah i like to exercise but i also like to drink and eat so that you've got to get the combination right moderation <laughs> a moderation. little bit of everything well a lot of everything <laughs> oh my god there you go that's the way to do it so writing mm -hmm. for me i think it's the hardest thing in the world and you ha are in on the incredible black adder and all these incredible mm -hmm. things how do you keep your brain in the game i just say it's a kind of instinct I think and writing is a sort of process of improvisation really if you sort of try and figure out why or how you do it then I guess that's when writer's block descends you just gotta just gotta do your thing and let it flow that's, do you still get excited by doing yeah, it yeah I get excited by ideas and that's what keeps me going the thing about you was you were edgy before it was cool <laughs> so somebody like you I was never cool you're right about that <laughs> I disagree. No, that's well. Because back then it was the uh oh oh, yeah. and then the pendulum always mm. swings. Mm. So as the pendulum swings, do you think it'll ever go back again? Because now, the stuff that you're involved with could be 
Oh, too much again. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this whole question of whether, you know, our subjects taboo is comedy, you or know, woke. being killed by this or that. Yeah. I think that's always gone on. We used to talk about, oh, that's not very politically sound or whatever. It, those, those debates are always, if you're, if you're any good at comedy, you're always going to find a way to be funny. And frankly, comedy that punches down isn't really funny and mm. everybody knows it. Press is being sniffed out a bit more now. And I right. think that's a good thing. I think kind of getting away with easy laughs, massaging prejudice or whatever. You know, on the whole, I think comedy's in pretty good shape. I'm nominated, so I can't <laughs> complain. <laughs> well, you are nominated and you deserve to be nominated. And thank you so much for joining me. It was my pleasure. It's a lovely interview. Thank good you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Raising Hull in the best possible way. Taj Atwell, welcome to BAFTA. Thank you for having me. Um, now, is this a lot for you? Because this is your very first time being nominated. Is this something you dreamed of? Um, I think so, yeah. I think I've always just wanted to do really good work mm -hmm. and for it to reach people. So that's been kind of the main thing. And then this is kind of just icing on the cake, I suppose, just a celebration of everyone. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, got, I've already seen friends um, here and I've got my brother and my sister with me. I've got my amazing publicist, Lauren, and I've got my agent. So I've got quite a supportive crowd with me. So. Well, I think that's the great thing about today, isn't it? It's such a celebration of obviously like your work, but that of your friends. Like, Because I think, yeah, well, let's focus on that energy, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, I get to represent the show, which is so important. Mm. And, um, yeah, all of that stuff. So. And obviously, you're nominated, Lucy Beaumont's nominated. Yes, I know. Um, what was that phone call or like text exchange like when you both found out you're nominated? Oh, gosh, I was just so thrilled. It was like, I don't know, just you get to celebrate each other and her. And I haven't been able to see her yet. We, we were meaning to have dinner and, and celebrate together. And then we were supposed to see each other at the nominees party and we didn't. So I hope I get to see it tonight. Do you know what? But either way, it just feels like a win, even, you know, uh, Lucy being nominated. So. I think this is going to be the running theme of the night. Everybody who's worked on the TV show is just going to have a chance to catch up people they haven't seen for With weeks. all their mates. I know, it's literally just one big catch up with your mates. <laughs> and, you know, as a, as, a, as a young actor and starting out, did you ever imagine like it would, it would be like this? I feel, I, I don't know. I feel like um, it's given me more encouragement and more yeah. um, confidence in myself. Um, obviously, you know, I'm a working class actress. So I've probably That's counted state, so I don't think I ever thought I'd be here doing this. Listen, she ain't no Nepo baby, hon. <laughs> Hell no. no. <laughs> I am definitely not a Nepo baby. I'm council estate born and bred. Um, and I think that's why my siblings are so proud, especially That's my it. brother, because he always reminds me in a beautiful way, like, Councillor State kid, but just to remind me like where, where we've come from, and you know I didn't think I'd ever be stood on a red carpet in this beautiful part of London doing this. Well, Taj, so. you are absolutely <laughs> here. You are best nominated, and best of luck for tonight. Thank you so much. Raise some hall. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you in Yes, Nicole Lecky. She's the whole mood. How are you? I am great, but more importantly, how are you? Because you're already coming here as a BAFTA winner. Just recently, uh, Best Original Music at the BAFTA yes. Castles. Is that still sinking in? Um, I feel like after today, it will all have kind of sunk in because now both like BAFTA ceremonies will be done. So yeah, it's a bit surreal though. It's huge, the carpet is huge. It's because we got to hold all this talent, that's why. <laughs> it's so huge for all of this talent. Now, nominated again uh, for Best Mini Series for Mood. Now, Mood, for a lot of people, um, they may not know, it started out as a play. It's adapted into a TV show. Did you, was that the initial ambition for it? I don't think in my wildest dreams, I thought that Mood would get me a BAFTA and end up here. But I mean, I hope the story would kind of go global, and it has, so it, it's just incredible, really. Um, what has been, I guess, the most uh, edifying feedback you've had? Because, yes, it is based in London, but like you say, like it's, it's a global story. Has anywhere surprised you that you've gotten love from? Um, France. It's, like, really huge in France. Ooh la la. <laughs> Ooh la la, oui oui. Um, <laughs> which I'm very happy about. Um, and India. I have a lot of fans in India, so I'm not even sure where it is on in India, but um, I love that.
We love that. She's in. She's international. I'm going global, baby. Um, are you already thinking about your next thing? Are you still just kind of like still soaking mood? Or are you writing, writing, writing away? No, already? you know me. I am scurrying away. I'm like hidden in my office, writing all of my next projects. So yeah, maybe see me again another time at the Baftas. I suspect it's not going to be a maybe. I feel like it's going to be um, a definitely. I'm trying. I'm trying. You know me. Um, it seems like it's just a really exciting time for like new writers, but like different voices as well. Like, why do you think? that's happening in this moment 2023 um do you know what i guess it's time it's like i know we've had you know breakthroughs in diversity before but i think people have just kept their foot on the gas and it's like there's so much talent and i think we're ready to see it and with the internet social media it's like people can share their talent more so i think people are taking notice which is good right on and i kind of asked before i let you go because you've got you've got people to chat to you've got hey, pictures to take yeah. you've possibly got another BAFTA to win and um, who else are you rooting for tonight oh my gosh i mean in the words of isa ray i'm rooting for everybody black i just <laughs> am you know that is the truth so i'm excited to see all of the diverse talent tonight and hopefully Hopefully win. Right on. <laughs> Nicole, thank you so much and best thank of luck you. tonight. Like I said, a whole mood. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you saying that I'm old? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> yes, you are. Uh huh. I, can, I remember it. I can it, remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go on. Well, that worked. Yes. So, you know, if that works, you know, there's no reason Is why that just like the, that's the one, if MASH worked, everything else can work? Well, that's the one I keep mentioning. Have you watched the very pilot? This is going off of what we're doing in the shadows. Did you watch the pilot episode of MASH recently? No. Is it Watch good? it. It's so irreverent and so right. actually horrible in right, many okay. ways that it wouldn't even fly now. Right. I'm telling you, if you know with everything that's happening, yeah, and you yeah, kids yeah, yeah. are so edgy on that show, yeah. how do you get around? Well, that's because we're dead. Right. If so, you're dead, you can just do whatever you like. Is that the answer? That's the, that's how it works. I love that. I'm going to use that from now on. Just take roles that you're dead, like ghosts and everything else. Salim Dor, welcome to the red carpet. Your very first BAFTA nomination. Uh, how did you receive the news? Oh, my God. It's amazing. Can I pop your mic up a bit? Yeah, there we go. it's yeah. really amazing. I'm so touched. It's a huge thing to be here, the BAFTA award. This is really, really, really it's a dream. It's a big dream for me, and I'm here. Now I'm here, and I'm so, I'm so touched. Well, it's what you deserve. You know, the crown is an absolute global phenomenon. People are obsessed with it. I think now more than ever, have you really been feeling that love from the fans? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Everywhere I'm, I'm going, people ask me, oh, yeah, we, we saw you in the crown. Oh, my God, it's amazing. Thank you. Can we take a picture with you, sir? Are you, yes, of course. You know, people recognize me everywhere where, I'm, where I go, here in London, in my country, everywhere. I love yes. it. Selfies with Salim. Thank you. Perfect. Um, now, let's talk about your um, approach to playing Mohamed El Fayed. Yeah. Because, you know, he is, you know, a, a very, well, he's, a, he's an iconic figure. You know, Harrods, like, everything he's been through, like, publicly and, and privately, it's a lot. So how do you approach uh, playing someone who's still with us as well? Yeah, it's not so easy because he's still alive. Yeah. So it's a big, big res responsibility, yes, and a big challenge for me. I, I measure every every step when I'm working in this amazing uh, character. So I I feel that I, I, I have to be all the time vigilant, you know, very vigilant because it's 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 not easy. But when I when I catch it, when I when I understood exactly this amazing character, it became. I enjoy every, every, every second, every moment, every, every day, you know, it was, it was amazing for me. Well, the vigilance paid off, the character was caught because you're here, you are BAFTA nominated. Celine, thank you so very thank much. Thank you so much. And good Carla. luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. It is our lovely chicken shop girl. It's our chicken shop date girl, Amelia de Moldenberg. Yes, exactly. Oh, I perfect. said it right. Well done, yeah. Thank you, you very get, much. You get chicken nugget as a prize. I do? Yeah. No. Let's talk about that. Now, I know what you're doing here. We're going to talk about that in a second, but I want to know how that started for you. How did that come up? Ooh, well, it actually started ten year, over 10 years ago. Right. And it started at a, at a youth club near where I'm from in northwest London uh -huh. as a column in a magazine. And then when you I. You read it in there. I wrote. I wrote oh, you the, wrote yeah, it. I, okay. Yeah, I wrote the article. And then uh, like after doing that for two years, Years, thought this would be way better if it was filmed. Mm -hmm. I was at university and then finally met some people who could film it for me and then just been doing it on my own ever since. On YouTube? Yeah, on YouTube, and yeah. that's how people found you and that's how exactly. you did Exactly, all because of YouTube, so shout out to them. Unbelievable. Yeah. And things are changed, you know, they're not the same as they were 10 years ago, yeah. so it's kind of a different landscape for that stuff. Yeah, definitely. When I started, I feel like content as it is now really wasn't uh, as prevalent as it is today right and now obviously you can watch content on content like all I'm doing is watching um, different videos of different celebrities being interviewed um, so yeah it's changed but I definitely still love it as much as I did when I started do you yeah, do you have any sure. favorites Ooh, well I just put out an episode with Lewis Capaldi uh -huh. on Friday I know he's performing here tonight and he's such and a nice person he's so lovely yeah. um, but he, d he did burp quite a lot did he? On, on a date. I don't know what you think about that. But that's kind of your brand, though. I think it's more his brand, <laughs> actually. Um, I've actually never burped. No, but you know what oh, I mean. I've it's never actually burped. The no. awkwardness. I'm sure you yeah, have yeah, never. Yeah. All that wind is just <laughs> it's trapped. It's just, just trapped inside me. That's why I'm so stiff. Um, but yeah, no, he's amazing. And then Jack Harlow episode was a great one. Louis yeah. Theroux, because it birthed the Jiggle Jiggle right. um, phenomenon. Right. Yeah. Everyone loves that song, Jiggle Jiggle. So yeah, I've got loads of great episodes. I can never pick a favorite. Right. Yeah. Anybody that you want. I mean, I get this all the time about judging anybody that you want to be you, interviewing and you want to judge right um, well both let's do it together Ooh, okay well obviously i have to say drake 
He's really? Yeah. Champagne Poppy. Have you met him? No. Oh, I'd love to. Yeah. Okay, and tell us what you're doing tonight. Tonight, I'm going to be hosting the backstage. So as soon as the winners win, they're going to be coming over to me and I'm going to be getting their first reaction. So I'm super excited. And making them feel awkward or happy? I don't know. Maybe a mixture of both. But I love winners. So I'm excited <laughs> to meet them. <laughs> what about the losers? No. You're going to have I'm not meeting any losers. Amazing. Only winners. Exactly. So thank you so much. Thank Good you luck. so much. You look have gorgeous. Fun. So do you, my yeah. darling. This is your color. Great to see you. Thank you, Amelia. Bye. Bye. Oh, see you. What an absolute delight. Mira Sayal. Hello. You're back at the BAFTAs. I'm back at the but not BAFTAs. in any ordinary way. You are receiving the Fellow Award this evening. I know. It's really happening. Um, it is really happening. Someone's going to have to pinch me really hard. I'll do it very softly. No, I'm still here. So a little bit harder? I guess it must be happening. Um, when you first got the news, yeah. um, how did you celebrate? What was, what was the process? Disbelief, and then sort of checking the envelope, like was this meant for somebody else? But you know, once I got over the shock and had a chat with BAFTA, I just thought, well, you know, you go through so many years not knowing if anybody has seen what you do, and I feel like I'm taking it on behalf of a lot of other people. I really do. My ancestors, my fellow travellers, you know, it's symbolic. Um, so for that reason, you know, I was utterly honoured to accept it. Well, this is it. I think, you know, as a British public and as, as a fan, we've been on such a gorgeous journey with you, you know, from you were Smita Smitten. I'm not, I won't make you do it. I won't, don't. I won't know, because I know you get that all the time. But yeah. I wouldn't dare. It's not good for the makeup. Absolutely not. But, you know, but from goodness gracious me, to Paul's shirts, your work on Anita and me, you know, to the split, like, you've ha you really show us, like, what range is as a creative person. Um, do you now feel ready to accept these flowers? Yeah, you know, as, as women, we're really bad at that, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's, you know, it's always it's always awkward talking about yourself, isn't it? And I think you just have to come to a place of acceptance where you go, you know, this is for a whole generation of people that battled against the odds and mm. made a living in a business that there was no role models, no precedence. So I honestly feel I'm part of a wave that I'm so proud to be part of. It's first generation South Asians. Oh, um, you know, there's so many of them with me. I know it. Well, that's it. I think you're seen as such a such a leader, not just in your own community, but just in television in general of what's possible for women, but of, of also, also what's possible for you know women of colour yeah, as well. Yeah, I uh, hope so. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Shonda Rhimes to call. I'm just, you know. I feel like I feel, I feel like that phone call. I need happen. to be in a bustle for God's sake. I think a bustle. You, you have been in every other outfit. So why, why not a bustle, Mira? I think so. um, why not? Um, what can we look forward to you from in the in the future? Um, well, um, I'm. Oh, oh, look at that. Bindi down. But oh August. God, my bindi jumped off in protest. Do you know what it is? Your bindi's so excited to Hello. be to be on your forehead. It wanted to be on the red carpet that badly. Um, <laughs> Note to self, do not head, not head too much. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm appearing in a series called Wheel of Time, um, which is on Amazon and um, starts in the autumn. It'll be broadcast in the autumn. And then I have another series coming out called Mrs. Sidhu Investigates about um, a nosy middle-aged cook who falls into private detective. So food and crime, my two favourite things. A perfect concoction. <laughs> Mira, thank you so much. Thank and you. enjoy every single flower you get this evening because you fully deserve it. That is so cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. And you look gorgeous. Oh, thank you very much. Mira Sayo said so. We are here with our host for the evening, Rob and Romesh. Hey! Hello. How are you, boys? I'm very good, thank very you. Very excited. Very yeah. warm. It's hot. You've got a bit of cover in the sun. How hot is it? Very hot, yeah. This, oh, my this goodness. This outfit. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. after this, the shirt will have to go and the underwear will have to be burnt. It can't be reused at this stuff. Mm. The Disgusting. The makeup person gave me a wipe to wipe myself that. with that you makes were... you not sweat. Stop! And I, we've, I think we've gone up a level in showbiz because I've never been wiped before. <laughs> and how did it feel? I feel unbelievable. Yeah. I yeah, feel like someone's going to put in a complaint about it. <laughs> Jane going to call it up. HR. She told me to do it. You kids are hosting. You've been writing. Yeah. You wrote the jokes. We've written the jokes. So it's all on you if they bomb. Yeah. yeah. And you've been rehearsing all week. Has it been crazy? Not rehearsing no, all week. Today. Just today, really. Just today. You don't want to overdo it, do you? No. You've got to have a little yeah. bit of excitement. The problem we think is a lot of people, they over prepare for stuff. Yeah. So right. we've come in slightly undercooked. Let's see what happens. And even if it doesn't go well, at least we haven't wasted all week. Yeah. And you are not here in drag, which is surprising. Well, no. check that. Can I ask you this? Yeah. We, well, we got no, nom this is an we got nominated. We got nominated okay. a couple of years ago for the season we, we did the drag episode, right, which you were on. You were wonderful. I said, me and Robin should have come in drag and it would have been a fun thing to do and you didn't he said I just no. think it looks a bit 
what what? Mean? We were nominated for one award. Right. So the whole evening you're in drag. Right. And we, quite and we didn't fun. win, by the way, Michelle. I know you didn't. He but won you know best what? entertainment performance. Which and then I had to go. I'd have to go and pick up the own. best entertainment award in drag for no reason. No, this is how you do it. Can I tell you how you style it yeah, out? Go on. You come, you do the carpet, you make your statement in drag. You then go to the loo, to the dressing room. That's what we do next Wipe time. it all up and put your fancies on. You're right. We should have arrived early. Yeah. We did it for the next one. Yes. Yeah. I thought you kids were so much fun and you took it seriously. You didn't yeah, we did. Joke yeah. Yeah. You had such a good time. The stories about your mother were everything. I laughed watching that and I thought you were fantastic. Oh, thank Are you. you ready for tonight? And do you yes. still, you, you guys do this all the time. You're nervous? Do you get don't nervous? I tend to get nervous. No. Not really. Don't really? really? No. I don't feel anything. No, not really. Well, you, you know, we've written some jokes that think are funny. We'll yeah. say them, and but if people laugh, they laugh, they don't, yeah. they don't. None of this is high stakes. That's so, the... But it kind of is. Is it? Mm. For you Take... two, kind of Look, is. I've no, grown up around here, and this is, this is basically just a ledge that they put red carpet on. <laughs> people that, skateboard on it. That part is true. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see you, John. I'm excited Thank to you. see you. Yeah, yeah we're too. excited Thank to do it. it. Good. Well, good luck. Break legs out there. Thank you very much. We'll break loads of legs. Slay them. We'll break so many legs out there. Slay them. Say it. Slay. Thank you. We are going to slay. Thank you, Robin Romero. Slay! What's that mean? Slay! I taught you! He's a bit nervous, that's why he's Slay! Said. There you go. Sorry, it's too much, isn't it? Thank you. Yes, yes, David Harris. Hello, hello, hello. Can I say you look absolutely fantastic? Oh, thank you, my friend. This is great. I feel, I feel underdressed. Oh, please, please. You always look very, very, very sharp. Now, look, right. you are just for the occasion because tonight you are announcing uh, one of the winners. I'm, I'm, I'm announcing a very special, a special award, actually, yes. To, am I allowed to say who to? Sure, why not? Uh, to, to my very good friend, David Olashuga, who's just uh, a trailblazer, uh, a wonderful historian and a personal friend. Um, does it feel uh, less pressure to give an award to a friend or is it less pressure coming here as a, as a nominated actor? Like, what? <laughs> oh, there's no pressure for me at all. I'm just here for, <laughs> I'm just here for the beer, as they say. I'm, I'm here for, <laughs> to have a good time, look at all these wonderful dresses and catch up on, uh, on all these wonderful stars, all these great programs, all, all this great talent that's here. It's wonderful to be a part of it. Well, that's thing, because, look, David, you do it all. You write, you act, you produce, you direct. Um, we have to talk about the upcoming movie. Uh, which one is that? Ben Eubank, come on. Yes, yeah, well, we know, we, we, as, as with all films, it's starting to run into, run into some problems, so we've had to push it back a little bit. Mm -hmm. But hopefully, you know, we've got some great people in there. We've got the wonderful David Johnson playing, who's going to be a fabulous uh, Chris Eubank. So I'm, I'm really, really excited to, excited to be getting back to that and doing that soon. And what does it mean to you to be able to sort of flex your muscles in all these different spaces? Because like I say, like you do it all, you write, you direct, you produce, you act, you do it all. <laughs> it's, it's great to kind of get to an age where you can do that, you know? Mm -hmm. But but in a way, I'm taking a leaf out of these young younger kids' books. I mean, it's great to see these these young kids coming through now, like Daniel and and, and, and John, who have got their own production companies and really kind of, as you say, uh, spreading their wings and doing a whole variety of different things. And, and that's really, you know, it, and back in my day, we weren't really like kind of allowed to do that to kind of step out of your one lane. But now it's much more common to do that. So it's just exciting to flex your muscles and and enjoy different different areas of the craft. And we enjoy it all. David, thank you so very much thank for joining us. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank and you. have a beautiful time this evening. I will, I will. Thank Wonderful you. weather. <laughs> but rolling through like an absolute G, Lenny Rush. Hello. Uh, welcome to BAFTA. This is your very first nomination and you've come through in style. What was the planning for today? Thank you. Um, I can't, I think it's sort of like, uh, no pun intended, but just roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm so happy to be here. I can't believe it. Do you know what? Everyone is so happy to have you here. I think you've definitely got one of the best receptions we've had from people when you literally rolled up on the carpet. It was like, Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. Um, how are you dealing, I guess, with, well, yeah, just with this newfound love? Because it seems like you can't go anywhere without being recognised at the moment. I know, it's been, it's been weird. Like, it's, it's like life sort of just changed mm -hmm. uh, on the clip. But, um, yeah, I feel... I so like, I just feel so privileged to, to be able to do this. Um, talk to me about working uh, with Daisy, just because I know that you two are thick as thieves. Uh, what's a typical day on set like with you two? Um, it's full, full of fun and laughter. Yeah. Uh, Daisy's just a legend. Um, so is everyone on, a, on, a, on the show. It was just, I, I love that show. It was so. It, it, we're like a massive family by the end of it. It was great. Now, you can really, really, really tell that. Um, look, this is your very first BAFTA nomination. I suspect it's not going to be your last. Uh, when you found out, actually, where were you when you found out you were nominated? And, like, how, how did you celebrate? So I, I've just had um, a back operation. Um, so I was in a hospital bed. <laughs> and um, being told you've had a BAFTA nomination after you just had a back operation isn't a good mix, because I'm like that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
But, um, yeah, I, I still, still can't get it through my head. I still can't process it. <laughs> well, look, man, believe it, you are absolutely here. Best of luck to you. And, um, yeah, you can roll on through, mate. Will do. Thank you. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Bye-bye. Up for supporting actress. I, I mean, she should be supporting lead actress in everything. <laughs> Leslie Manville is joining us. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. Really well. It's a beautiful day. Not too hot, not too cold. And it's BAFTAs. And you're smiling. I am. I love that. Why wouldn't I be? I just watched Sherwood and it's so um, gut-wrenching. It is, and yeah. How, it is. how do you take yourself... I know you're an actress and it's a very deep question, but... Isn't it exhausting at the end of the day? That's all I'm going to say. I suppose it is, but um, I'm very good at not taking it home with me. It's very healthy that I pack it away in a little bag called work. Right. And I go home and it's it's fine. And, and you're I, able to do that? Yes, I am. And I, yes, I am. I think you have to. Because it's tough. Yeah. The work that you do is tough. Yeah. Um, especially, you know, there's all different types of actors, but you put your whole soul into it, your whole self. When I watch you, I cry with you. I laugh with <laughs> you. And it's such a remarkable role. And, of course, The Crown. When you have to do things like that, do you get any say in, eh, this, this happened, this didn't happen, I don't feel... Oh, no. I mean, listen, we have to say that The Crown is absolutely a drama right. about the royal family. And... There should be some joy in that because right, we right. don't know what they're like at breakfast, right? When they're going to bed, when they're waking up. So we create it. The Crown can show you that, right? And it's so beautifully written by Peter Morgan. He's given me some wonderful stories to tell about a woman getting older yeah. and her loneliness and her her personal pain. And it's a little microscope into the world of the royal family. That yes, of course, it's. It might not all be fact, fact, fact. Right. She might not have had boiled eggs for breakfast on the <laughs> exactly. 13th of May. We just don't know, but we can speculate. Right. You are absolutely brilliant in everything you do. You're on Masterclass. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank Good you. luck tonight. Thank you, Michelle. Leslie Lovely Manville. to meet you. Thank you. Truly in the presence of royalty, Golda Rochevelle. Hello, hello, my love. Welcome to the BAFTA red carpet. Thank you, thank you. It is massive. It is quite overwhelming, isn't it? The last it? time I did BAFTA was in the pandemic, and it was at White City, and there, I was literally in a row on my own. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So this is like, wow, oh, it's incredible. It's so friend, good to be back, right? You are certainly not alone. And yeah, it is really, really good to be back. This is such a great celebration of your, of your peers, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. And my man Brimsley, hey. Hugh Sachs is over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's so good, great to celebrate with him as well, you know? Now, you've got a fabulous job tonight. You are giving out one of the awards. I am, I am. Now, talk to me about that process. Is that equally as nerve-wracking as sometimes your first day on set? Or is it different gravy? It's different gravy in <laughs> terms of like being so excited mm. for your peers and for you know the talent that's in the room and to be able to kind of you know really celebrate our art artistry and our people is is amazing. And yeah, I'm always up for presenting. Right on. Now it would be remiss of me not to mention the success of Queen Charlotte. People are absolutely loving yeah, this show. I oh. heard today that it's 91 number one in 91 countries or something like that. Like last night, that was like the grading. So, That's a whole I lot mean, of countries. It's, it's amazing. I feel very, very blessed today. Well, look, we're so excited to have you here. Uh, big thank up you. for all that you do as Golda and as thank one you, of our thank queens. You, thank you, And have um, the best evening, so thank Cheers, you, Golda. Thank you so much. Good <laughs> to talk to you. Lovely, always. The word iconic is tossed around a little too much, but not here tonight, not right now. Sir Lenny Henry is joining us. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Well, I am wonderful. All the better for seeing you, but I want you to introduce these lovely ladies to the world. Um, this is Rochelle Neal. This is Saffron Kuma. This is Yasmin Bello, and they are the leads in a brand new television series starting in ITV in October called Three Little Birds. It's based on my mom's story of coming to Britain in 1957, and it's about the trials and tribulations of young black women making a new life in the UK. Wow. And they're fantastic in it. You wait till you see it. I can't wait to see it. Now, do you ever stop? Are you constantly writing, creating, performing? I mean, do you ever, ever stop for yourself? I'm writing now. See, exactly. <laughs> the words are my going. My head is going. Brrr. 
You've always been a machine, for lack of a better term. You are unbelievably That's very kind prolific. of you. But meeting, these, meeting Michelle and Saf and Yasmin has been it's extraordinary true. because they've made this story come alive and I can't wait for my family to see it because although it's not based on them, they will go, that's kind of us, isn't it? How were the auditions for you kids? Were they grueling? Were they difficult? Mm, they felt pretty smooth. Uh -huh. Yeah, they were pretty... Uh, I mean, it's a really lovely team. Like, I would say the fish stinks from the head and from the head it was amazing, so... Uh, we How did you the, find the auditions? Well, um, nice time. I, she said, well, 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 well. well. Um, no, no, I mean, they were uh, intensive right. in terms of, for me, there were four rounds. Wow. Um, starts off with a self-tape, then got a recall, and then two more recalls after okay. that. Um, but the writing was so fantastic. We love it. <laughs> How was it for you? The writing. I just went, it just went on for ages. <laughs> Just went on for ages. What, the and audition process? The audition yes, process. Yes. Yeah, but you got in. Yes. You got in yes. in the end. Yes. Finally, she did. which is brilliant. Yeah. And it was just very, very generous. And I just remember having yeah. a really great time in the audition room. Yeah. It was just so much fun. And you yeah. watched everybody yeah. audition, I'm assuming. Yeah, everybody had to audition. So was... even I, even I had to audition. And when you, no, you did not. You stop <laughs> it right now. I thought there's, there might be a part for me in this, and then I had to audition. It was disgraceful. <laughs> you are lying. You stop it. I can't wait to see it. Three little birds. Three little birds. In Coming October. to your screens in October on I can't ITV. Wait. Well, you are brilliant. I can't wait to see you girls. Good luck to all of you. Thank and you very much. thank you so much for sharing and joining us. Much thank appreciated. You. So good to meet you. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. I'm going to really try my hardest not to insert any sort of Donna Summer hot stuff pun here. But look, we are on the red carpet. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Uh, giving out an award tonight. Yes, we are for best scripted comedy. Best scripted comedy. Okay. Now, tell me, what does being at BAFTA mean to you, especially for a cat agree like this because of course that we all love to laugh it's our it's our healing isn't yeah. it yeah yeah no it's fantastic and you know it's what makes the world go round and it's really thrilling because um, obviously the full Monty the film originally was nominated as um, best film for BAFTA so it's lovely to be back I and mean, yeah what a beautiful full circle moment because obviously the, there's a new streaming uh, version of it coming yes there is an, yeah. an episodic adventure yes carrying on from the year uh, from the steel city how excited are you guys people to see it oh very excited it's uh, eight episodes on disney plus uh, it's out june the 14th and it kind of uh, yes plug 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 tells Mark. the better. story yeah. of you know where these guys are 25 years on mm. uh, what wonderful things have happened to our country in the interim <laughs> and the glories that, uh, that that you know that make britain great yes that's it and um, how exciting is it for you um, to kind of step back into character that you've been away for away from for so long well it was really great to reconnect with all the old gang um, simon Beaufoy, who wrote the film um, only wanted to revisit those characters on the basis that he felt he had amazing stories to write mm. and I really think that that's what's happened. It's, it's really juicy, funny, moving, it ticks all of the boxes that the film did so hopefully you know the audience will be really pleased to see it, see us all kicking off again. And what a privilege to be able to revisit these characters because I guess once you, once, you know cut is yelled it must be hard to say goodbye sometimes right? Yeah yeah and you know People often say, uh, you know, what's it like doing a second series of something? You say, oh, well, you know, in the first series, there were things about it that you really loved, and it's great to kind of get back and do it in series two. But this time, there's been 25 years to think about where, where those people might have gone. So everything's got really enriched. It's a lot great. of time for research. A lot of time. <laughs> well, guys, have an amazing evening tonight. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to, you, to seeing you give out that award. Thank you very Thank much. You very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Um, I feel like a little schoolgirl, but I shouldn't because I am here with the iconic, the incredible actor, Killian Murphy. And you talked to me. Thank you for talking to no, me. No, pleasure. Nice to be here. I am so excited. Listen, I've followed you for years, as most of us have, but really, yeah. Tommy Shelby did something to us. And I would imagine he did something to you because the way you inhabited him and the way that character yeah. was so, for a lack of a better term, believable. Like, there was such a truth to Tommy Shelby. Yeah. How were you able to pack him up at the end of the day? Oh, it's kind of tough, you know. Uh, it takes a while to shake him off. He's quite a strong personality, I know. you know. Um, but the thing is, it was just amazing writing. We had six seasons of incredibly brilliant writing, and that's just a gift for any actor, you know. And you've got the film coming up. Hopefully, yeah. What hopefully. do you mean, hopefully? What's hopefully? Well, listen, uh, 
if there's more story to tell, you know, I'm going to be there. But I don't have any specific updates. No, I have no exclusive I can give you, I'm afraid. I don't need an exclusive. I'm not that girl. But I guess at the end, we know how it ended. No spoilers for people who haven't seen Peaky Blinders. Yeah. But um, it ended pretty... So where do we go from Yeah. Here? Is that what we're saying? I guess that's the question, you know? Um, that's the question that we have to pose to ourselves, really. Um, but I'm up for it, I'm up for it. And I will say, obviously the loss of, of Aunt Polly, of, of Helen, yeah. was like a really big deal. I've never felt such um, a connection to an actress before. I felt so pulled in by her. Oh, she's phenomenal, you know, and, and we still miss her dearly, you know, she was, one of the greats and a dear pal of mine, and uh, you know the show wouldn't have been the show without Helen McGrory. I agree. You know? I agree. Because yeah. could there ever be a comedy in Killian Murphy's future? <laughs> I've done a bit of comedy on stage, right? Um, but I don't know. No one sends me those scripts. Really? I don't get sent the romantic comedies for whatever reason. That's actually ridiculous. So yeah, I'm going to try yeah. to save that for you and change that. Do please. change that narr you know that narrative around for please you. Please do. Um, you can't tell us much, but I know you're doing a, a movie with Christopher Nolan. Correct. Oppenheimer. Yeah. Well, it's done, yeah. And when will, okay, how about this? When will we get to know about it? Oh, when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's yeah. what I watch. Okay, all I'm right. I'm afraid, uh, yeah, July. Okay, yeah, that's not, good, not I'll long. take that. All right, not well, thank long. you so much for yeah, talking to me. You. Thank you for being here, and Great. thank Pleasure. you for giving yourself so much in what you do. Oh, thank you, you're very kind. Thank you. Thanks. Nice to chat. Have fun. Yeah, we're good luck. Later. Rebecca Ferguson. Hello, my darling. You devious woman. No, stop that. <laughs> Come again. You came to this red carpet ready for mischief, I feel. A little bit, a little bit. You need a little bit of this. You do indeed. A little bit of this. Um, now that you're giving out an award tonight. I am. Um, how does it feel to be here just celebrating your, your fellow peers? It's one of those moments where I'm looking at you, but I'm aware of everything going around. 360, who's, what's, where, and... Huh? Who, it's what? Just, I mean, it's exciting. It's a good moment. You know, Killian was there congratulating. It's just, it's exciting. It's TV. It's a beautifully it's like, overwhelming moment, isn't it? And the sun's out, it's warm, it's England, it's the best of the best. Yeah, it's the best. Um, let's talk about the Responder crew and just that show in general. What a privilege to be in a drama like that. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. But there are so. What are your favourite moments? Oh my gosh, you're really going to put me on the spot? Yeah, okay. Babes. When it comes to British television, I've been obsessed with Bad Sisters. Obviously loved you all. One of my favourite ones. Obsessed. obsessed. Obviously loved you all in the Responder. Too there, much. I met the cast and I found myself getting closer and closer and I thought, I don't really know where I'm going and what I'm going to do when I reach them. But like a child, I'm so obsessed. No, but you know what? That's the great thing about tonight, isn't it? I think egos are left at the door. It's about all of you guys being a fan of each other, right? Yeah, and I think there's so much work going into it. Television works faster, it's quicker. There are many characters. There's a family ensemble that happens on a TV show. Mm. With film, it's very different. So I think it's a familiar, energizing feeling on TV. I think it's different. I love it. I think one of the um, recurring themes of this evening has been, you know, just TV, I think, has never been, you know, more exciting and just the approach to making it, it is it is like film and like arguably in some, in, it, 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 sometimes better. <laughs> you know, at this point in time, like the, the care and the attention to detail, like you can't deny that. How is that for you as an actor? Well, I've just made a show myself and I think it's constantly comparing yourselves to some of the, the really good ones out there <laughs> and I keep on going why are we not succession why are we not you know bad sisters what are we lacking what do we need more of so it's lovely we keep comparing and wanting to strive for for you know the best writers the best actors there's actually no separation in for actors film or TV right mm -hmm. now it's just about where the writing's good, right? Yeah, it's yeah. writers and it's team and hopefully no AI. Yeah. We want real people. We, we want, want real, real people. people. Well, Rebecca, you are very much real. You are very much here. Oh, and we look forward to seeing this evening. And thank you so thank much. You. Little mischief oh, thank you. Little mischief for now. Team Slow Horses! Yeah, slow horses yeah. um, guys, you are here. It's actually happening from those first table readings to it being out on TV and now you're at the BAFTAs. Um, is this quite surreal for you, for you three? Yeah. Yeah, it is quite but surreal. Yeah. When you think about it, it's not really surprising because the show is so good. <laughs> yes. And, oh, sorry, and the, and the writing's <laughs> great and the acting, you know. 
films in. Um, can you all individually tell me, like, when you first read for your characters, were you in, immediately just like, okay, I need to do this, yeah, I can, I can work with this. Definitely. Yeah. I really, really wanted this, so I was delighted when I got the part, and uh, it's been a wonderful experience. And we're in the middle of, I think, book four, aren't we? Yes. So it's it's wonderful, really, really uh, special, I think. Um, yeah, I'm buzzed to be on the show. Really excited to be cheering on our two cast mates today. We're nominated also. Um, um, yeah, we're, we're loving it, aren't we? We're a lovely dysfunctional family. Uh, They're the best type of families, to be you fair. Know, I'm, you know, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, talk to me about being on a show that's on a streaming platform as well, because I think we've seen such a lovely shift in our attitude towards shows on streaming platforms, especially like post-pandemic. Have you have you noticed that shift, like the writing that you're receiving and and are making a show like so? Horses? Absolutely, I think so. I think with Slow Horses, especially Apple TV, are great at quality TV. Mm. Um, they really take their time deciding what they're going to commission, and when they really like a show, they get behind it. Yeah. And we are so lucky to be a part of Slow Horses. Honestly, I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, you do love it. Do love it. <laughs> Gary Goldman and mm. Chris and Scott Thomas in a TV series. I think streaming allows people of their caliber and film status to go, yeah, okay, I'm going to do something on television. Well, this is it. You, you have my mind, because Chris, I was going to ask you, there's such a beautiful filmic quality um, to the show. Does that make all of you, I guess, like, up your game as actors? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you don't want to be the weak link against someone like <laughs> Gary Oldman or Chris and Scott Thomas, do you? Small pressure. <laughs> Small bit of pressure. I mean, and I think it's a testament that we're all here tonight you know, mm -hmm. to support Gary, Jack and the rest of the nominees uh, for Slow Horses. So we're very happy to be here. And uh, besides your own gang, um, if you can, uh, who else are you rooting for this evening? Right. This is going to hurt. This is going to hurt. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> You're, you're, you're a moonlighter. You've got you've got a cheeky oh. a cheeky role in that too. Yeah, so you yeah, know. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. I'm really hopeful that they win best miniseries because Adam Kay, Ben Wishaw, Amber Kamad, Sister Pictures, incredible. NHS, you know. Right. Um, let's hope they win. Well, look for Slow Horses and for This Is Gonna Hurt. Uh, best of luck, guys. Thank you so much, oh, Clara. You look great. You look even better. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it right. Adelayo, Adadayo. Perfect. How hard was that one when you entered this business? You said, I'm not changing my name. Never, never, I'm not changing my name. Yeah, I mean, it is hard, but you just say it. Get over it, because it's my name. And then people learn it, right. it's fine, and we move on. What's the background to that name? It's a Nigerian name, uh -huh. a Yoruba name, uh -huh. and it means crown of joy. No, it doesn't. I'm so joyous. <laughs> Obviously. Do you think that describes you? Because you said when we were off mic that it, your grandmother, it was your grandmother's... My granddad named me. Yeah, so he knew, he was like, she's just going to bring everyone joy and this is appropriate. It's important to have that. So much seriousness in life. I love that you're kind of, not only your name, but your motto and your whole thing is joy. Joy, joy and peace. And then you're on the responder, totally different. No joy, no, no joy, no peace. How do you do that? How do you do that? I like to talk to actors, like, how do you, at the end of the day, do you go home and do you go, you know what, I'm going to take a bath. I need to wash this off. Yeah, yeah. You, I think you just got to do things that you love. Like, I like reading. I like binge watching shows. I think you just got to go home and do something you like. Also, it helps if, like, on set, your cast is happy to joke around. Uh-huh. So that in and between... And are they? They were. They were. They were. They were... They were everyone was always taking them. Not, the yeah, that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not that one, okay. but we know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. But that's a blessing in disguise. Yeah. Especially yeah. on and dramas. Was, yeah. 100%. I love Otherwise, that. it's all dark and dreary and... You, you can't enjoy it. I agree with you. you. Know what I mean? Yes. Do you love these yeah. award shows? Or are you over it? Like, this is actually my first BAFTA. Is it? Yeah. Well, you absolutely look stunning. Give us a Thank twirl. You. Give us a twirl. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. How long did it take you to get ready? How long did it take? I was like, oh, probably about two hours. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, that's Super fair. Village. Are you going to stay and do the whole thing and do the after party? Um, I think I'm going to have a good time. Okay. I'm going to enjoy tonight. It's a beautiful day. And it's your first BAFTAs. And it's my first BAFTAs. And yeah, I'm going to. And you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. Thank so you. Cute. Go on then. Oh. Adelayo, Adelayo. Oh yes, thank you. I thank you that. so much thank for you. joining me. Have the best time. Thank you. Thank, thank you, gorgeous. You. Jasmine Johnson. I'm going to say welcome to BAFTA, but actually I'm saying welcome back to welcome BAFTA. Because this is not the first time you've been nominated. No. So tonight you step up for Best Supporting Actress for your incredible yes. work in Top Boy. Uh, talk to me about how that show has changed your life as an actor. Oh my gosh, well, I mean, 
I'm international now. That's it. You know, I'm, I'm literally, I've taken over the world. So yeah, no, it's definitely changed my life. You know, I felt like, you know, I, I kind of went through a stage where it was like, you know, I need, I need to be in everybody's faces. You know, I have to be, take on every job that I like and I need to be in everybody's faces. And um, now it's, it's really, really worked out, you know, and I'm grateful, I've been in a very, very good position. But that's it, it's not every day say yes to everything, it's about selecting yeah, no. the, thing, the thing that's right for exactly, you, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, so talk to me about what happened when you got the news of, of this nomination. Oh my, babe. I, I honestly, I, again, in, uh, another year, my agents called me at eight o'clock in the morning. And she's like, Jasmine, I'm so sorry, but you've been nominated for another bathroom. And then I was wide awake, screamed the whole house down. Um, yeah, no, it's a beautiful thing. Honestly, I'm humbled and I'm so grateful. It's so it's so nice to be acknowledged and appreciated for my work. I and mean, it's like I say a thousand times, like we don't do this for awards. That's you it. know, we just do it to change people's lives and hopefully change people's perceptions in life. Well, that's why I do it anyway. Yeah. You know, so to now be getting the extra appreciation and being acknowledged by the big dogs, <laughs> like the people that have inspired me for years, you know, it's it's a beautiful thing, and I'm fully grateful and humbled by it. Well, that's it because your character took us on such a journey and you know represented for so many different types of people you know working class people black people queer people like really showing that you know there's there's, there's not a layers yeah. you know and not, and not everything that you see is what you expect yeah. right was that was that the sweetness of playing her oh yeah a hundred percent i mean we're all onions yeah you know we've all got so many different layers to us so it's about peeling away those layers and showing everybody what makes us human beings because i feel like especially in the lifestyle that we portray in top boy it's very easy to kind of forget about that the fact that they're actually human beings and they mm -hmm. feel things too so um, being able to show the different layers of our onion it was a beautiful thing to do yeah right on. i love it i love it well here's to your onion tonight yeah here's to my onion to maybe possibly getting in tears from that onion you oh I definitely <laughs> i've already cried this morning i've already cried that like, i'm an absolute emotional wreck i'm just so grateful so humbled and excited to be here yeah it's, it's been a crazy morning i cut i cut my finger hey. trying to shave my legs <laughs> it's, it's, it's all been a mare this morning yeah no it's been beautiful and exciting very very happy to be here Look, thank keeping you. it real smooth in delivery smooth legs <laughs> jasmine johnson thank, thank you so you. much lovely to see you lovely to see you, lovely to see you. Bless, good time see you later our reigning queen of rupaul's drag race uk it is the liverpool legend known as Danny Beard. Hey, baby. How are you? Hot. I picked the wrong day to wear this outfit. You're wearing latex. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Do you know what? It's the show off in me. It is. It's the show off in me. It is. Did you enjoy Eurovision? It was camp. I've been there all week. Uh -huh. It's nice to see. It is. Scousers enjoying themselves and people enjoying Liverpool. Yes. The vibe's been immaculate all week. I got to perform in the Eurovision Village, which was crazy, thanks to Drag Race. Yes. So, it's been crazy. Well, you know what I was excited about? I was thinking about small businesses and all these people that were going to get an opportunity to let the world see their wares. They, they're going to be making money and being able to thrive because of Eurovision there. And not just that, but all the creatives. Yes. All the people, like the amount of camera crew and crew and production, the amount of dancers on the show. And the drag bars around the corner. The gay bars have been packed. Uh huh. Apparently, I've been working. Yes, you yeah. have. And you haven't stopped working since you won. How has your reign been? It's a dream still. Drag Race is a dream making machine, and I'm still living in this crazy dream. This isn't right. Why am I at the BAFTAs? <laughs> Uh, you're at the Baptist because we are nominated. Yes, we are. So you are here to represent, and you look fantastic. You look, I'm I'm sweating looking at you. I'm sweating. You don't want to know what's going on between my legs, Michelle. No, but I would like to know how you set your face so it doesn't run. Uh, lots of talc. Uh-huh. I use talc and powder. It's got to be British talc. I found okay. this recently on tour in Australia. Okay. Because they use, like, cake mix there. And did <laughs> Honest to God, it's like cake mix. And it didn't work. And it didn't work, right. and then loads of setting spray. And I'm not, I'm not fussy on the setting spray. Like anybody. I like a bit of urban decay. Okay. At the minute, but I like Mac as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you look fantastic. Thank you, so do you. So excited that you're here. Good luck to you and your crew, which I'm part of. Yeah. And have the best time. Is this your first Thank Baptist? You. Ever. Probably me last, because I've got a foul mouth and I keep vaping. No, you will be good. Not the vaping, but you'll be good with everything else. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Love Beard. you, baby. Love Come you so much. Dear viewer, yes, I am holding hands <laughs> with Anne Marie Duff because I loved Bad Sisters that much. That show, absolutely phenomenal. I will let go of your hand though, okay. so you can gesticulate Thank properly. You. <laughs> uh, when you tell me how much you loved working on it, because how much did you do? Well, we just did. We had, it was a dream job, you know, you had all these incredible characters for women filming in Ireland, such extraordinary writing. 
it was just the best time. And talk to me about that very first strip read through that, that you guys did. How much suspense was kept amongst the cast as well? Because obviously there's a big reveal, no spoilers if you haven't seen it, but how did you guys go about navigating that? Well, you know, I had to work really hard not to give anything away because it jumps back and forth in time, right? Mm. So even in the present day, I had to look as innocent as possible, you know, so it was tricky, but, um, and I was surprised when I very first read the script, I got sent the first one or two episodes and then like a little description of each other episode. I was so surprised in the final ep. So if I thought, if I'm surprised, then the audience will be. Oh, we definitely were. Uh, talk to me about this fantastic company of, oh, yeah. of actresses, because honestly, you guys are such a force together. Yeah, they are. They're the sort of best of Irish actresses, really, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and all of them insanely beautiful. How are you? <laughs> but yeah, so we did. We had a really good giggle. And for me, especially, because it was quite sad a lot of the stuff I had to do. Mm. So I really lent on them to have a good laugh. You know? But that's it. I think some of the best dark moments we see on television, uh, behind the scenes, you're probably having the lightest time ever, you know? But that can be it. It's sort of like a rubber band. You stretch the other way, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. Now, I know for a fact, in fact, I've been told by my super spies, you've admitted to being uh, fantastically superstitious oh, yeah. uh, before shows, before war shows. Yeah. What have we been your pre-show rituals uh, for this Thursday, at least? Oh, I haven't had any for today. Okay. It's like a theatre thing. Got it, got it, got it. So what but did you do? My son did try and wish some good luck on my dress when it was hanging up. So we did go, good luck, Mum, good luck, Mum, good luck. So that was the bit of magic today. But you know what? There is nothing more magical than a son who loves his mum. Let's just, oh, let's baby, just be honest. You know. And who else are you rooting for tonight? Well, obviously our show. Obviously. Um, uh, but, you know, it's really tricky because this is such an extraordinary television age that we're living through. Yes. So there's a huge amount of brilliant work. And I find it really difficult to sort of choose amongst it because the quality is so good, but also each project is so varied that it's sort of, you want there to be a million categories for everybody, right. you know, so it's, uh, I'm kind of rooting for everybody, really. Well, that's it. It's such an exciting time, and I feel like that sn any snobbery that was uh, directed towards television is now gone, because people are really seeing like, oh, the, the amazing gone. things that can be done, right? You know, and television is the arena in which we take most creative chances now, ironically, because we don't have to worry about box office and all of those things that preoccupy cinema. So writing, for example, has never been more interesting than it is on the small screen. That's it. Well, look, Anne-Marie, Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. And we are rooting for you. Thank and just you, big baby. up for being one of the baddest sisters ever. <laughs> Thanks, <Mary laughs> Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Here with good the evening and here you are. Sorry, because I had the mic. I was like. I love you. Good no, evening we and here more. we are. No, please, please, please. Has that been done before? No. No. Okay. It was okay. brilliant Sorry. and new. Feel good about it. Feel a good deal about actor. It. Yeah. Now you're my favorite actor, a deal actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. So I want to talk to you, obviously, about Sherwood. You're so good in it. Oh. It's so intense and it's such a. a and I didn't think, like, it's not my type of show when I started watching yeah. it. I fell in love with this show. Yeah. It is heavy, but you, as being this fun, joyous, light guy, yes. you do some heavy stuff. Thank you very much. But Cheers. Go back to Killing Eve. Right. Did you love, did you love doing it? And when you were in it, did you know what it was going to be? I had no idea um, of what it was going to be. I mean, it would already been on TV at that point. Right. So I had an understanding of it, but... Um, I would definitely say that that was a sea change in the career. To be part of something like that and um, to be acting opposite Jodie was definitely something in my career where people were paying more attention to what I was doing, which is, uh, which is amazing. But and she's amazing as well, Jodie. I've got unbelievable. Yeah. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Uh, but also the way that you can kind of turn the corner and do these characters that are different <laughs> to one another. And Sherwood yeah. is a perfect example of that. Yeah. You're like this, you know. Bumbling. Yeah. Train driver, sweet, man. Sweet yeah, 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 but yeah. is that fun for you to be able yeah, to do that? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm, and this I one's all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it took a long time to get to this point of like acting, and you know, uh, at this point in my career where you're just getting different variety of roles. But um, that's our job, you know, as actors. We're, that's what we're paid to do, and that's what we love to do. We love to stretch ourselves and thrive in creative environments, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm just blessed to be in a in a position where I can I can play all these different parts. I'm but just so happy. What you just said is important because I think a lot of people watching who have dreams of doing what you're doing. Yeah. It's important when you say things like, you know, it's never been easy and then sometimes one part could change the time. Yeah. Which yeah. is what you said. So it's yeah. basically sticking yeah. with it and not giving up. I think so. I mean, I was out with somebody the other day 
and they said it, and this is a little bit philosophical, but I think it works. Go it there, works. go there. Um, it, all they said was just dig where you stand. And there was something about that which means there's, um, it's the idea of what I do anyway isn't too far away from who I am as a person. Like all the stuff I love doing and all the parts that I love to do are very close to my experience of the world, you know. And as soon as I'm outside that sphere, I start to panic a little bit and start to overstretch myself. Mm -hmm. But there's something about, you know, digging where you stand, like just being, keeping your sort of vision quite broken or something. I love know. that. I yeah. think that's yeah. inspirational. Thank you. It I makes gonna, sense. I could, I, I'm glad you interrupted I me. Got, I, got I didn't know where it was like, going. Ah! Thank you very I, much. I felt the clothes. I felt the clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adil Akhtar, very good. Thank, you. thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. We will keep enjoying Sherwood. Right. You are amazing. Good yes, luck. Yes, yes. And tune it. Now it's going to do the. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wrap it up. And tune in to the Baptist. Yeah. What time is it on TV? Seven. Seven on TV. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lots of love. Bye. Vicky McClure. Uh, may I first say, belated happy birthday. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, 40. And I was going to say a rude word and absolutely <laughs> fabulous. 40 and flipping fabulous. Flipping, flipping fast. Uh, Vicky, this isn't your first rodeo. You won your first BAFTA back in 2011. Um, now, look, fast forward 12 years, you're back again. Uh, what keeps you just in love like with, with what you do and, and the celebrations like these? Uh, what keeps me in love is the people, genuinely. The crews, uh, the families that get created, obviously, the brilliant scripts that I get to work with. Um, just doing what I love, you know, if you'd have told me when I was a kid, I'd be at the BAFTAs for the fourth time and, you know, it, it, just all the things. I'm forever pinching myself, genuinely. I mean, look, looking at your stats, five-time BAFTA nominee, like, what a wow. Honestly, I, I don't know. I, I can't quite put it into words because the thing is, you don't do the work thinking, oh, this is going to get us, you know, a BAFTA nomination or mm. anything like that. You're just hoping that it's decent and people enjoy it and you have a good time making it. Um, so this is always just a massive cherry on top yeah well, that's it well zooming in on without sin um, what did it mean uh, for you to take on you know such a big role because I know it wasn't just the acting you were involved in with the show right yes yeah 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 so it was the first co-production for BYO films which is mine and Johnny's production company right it was shot in Nottingham hey! um, and it had lots of you know familiar faces in it but also loads of people that haven't done a lot of TV work before um, so shout out just, to Aria. yeah yeah exactly <laughs> shout out to the workshop it was just there were so many um, again, there were so many moments where we really thought about the detail when we were making it. Mm. So the fact that it's been recognised is, um, yeah, it's it's amazing. We just never would have expected it. I was going to say, does that make you doubly proud to be nominated tonight, knowing that, you know, you've had your finger essentially in every play when it comes to it? Yeah, because, you know, it, it's hard work. It's like there's a lot of... It's really intense. You know, all of a sudden a job it appears and everybody's on the floor doing their jobs and there's always going to be things that crop up along the way that make it challenging um, so you just you're not thinking about BAFTAs and gowns you know <laughs> Thinking about making some amazing drama, which yeah. is what you did. Uh, Vicky, congratulations for your nomination. Thank you very have, much. Have uh, the best time tonight. Thank you, and you have fun. <laughs> you look fabulous. I see you. I was going to say a swear word, but I won't. <laughs> I think we both held it down. We are here with the stunning, the strong Katie Piper. I absolutely adore this woman. How are you? I think I'm good. Feelings mutual. Well, you look absolutely <laughs> beautiful. How did you pick this dress out? I'm not talking oh. much about fashion tonight, and I want to know. <laughs> this is just a little vintage number from Harmer. Is it? Uh, yeah. And um, it's a little vintage earrings uh -huh. as well. I thought I'd keep it simple, you know? Because it's perfect weather for this. Right. We're so British. We love this weather. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. yeah, but honestly, this is beautiful weather everywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. This my is it. My hair can't handle any rain. So no. Ah! Yeah. You got it all nice. <laughs> straightened out tonight. Yeah. Do you still love coming to the Baptist? Do you love coming and the, like the whole grandeur of it? Yeah, I do. I feel like it's like no other red carpet. I agree. Um, and you see everyone that you love to watch in movies, on telly. Yeah. Um, everyone looks fab. Like you can really do your thing. You uh -huh. know. I know there's a dress code, but I feel like you can go a bit rogue as well. You I know? don't know. Is there yeah. really a dress code? I mean, it used to be very gown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And tuxedo, and I think some people still do that. Yeah. But like you were in a vintage number tonight. Yeah, I went short. Sure. I was like, it's fine. You know. I like. I like the way you can just be a bit eclectic and bring the glamour and you look great thank you so much i don't think there's rules anymore like that no i feel like now we all know that how we dress is how we express ourselves right and it's really important that that is individual right you're a loose woman you you have your podcast you do everything what is next 
for I Katie Piper. I have just Piper. come back from Chicago. Um, Chicago? Yeah, yeah, Doing yeah. what? Um, I'm actually so jet lagged. Okay. Well. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> like I think it's like 3 a.m. Yes. I've been filming a five-part series all about motherhood behind bars. So I've been filming in like maximum security prisons. Heavy. Yeah, and it's like women that have committed serious crime but they're pregnant or they're postpartum wow. and they've got like newborn babies and I mean I'm sure you know in, in America it kind of differs from state to state of the laws and the federal laws and some women are allowed to keep their babies yes. incarcerated with them in prison yes. so we've kind of been documenting that so that is amazing yeah. I love that you shine light on things that maybe not everybody would talk about well yeah I mean these women are still people and they've made mistakes as have I as have has, has have we all yeah and you know a lot of people need help and support to change agreed so, yeah. and you're gonna lead that i love I that am. katie yeah. thank you so much for joining it's me it's good to see you have the best time yeah i'll, I'll see you at the party yeah, i'll see you inside yes yeah. thank right. you baby thank you so much take Cheers. care I mean, what is a great award ceremony without added extra entertainment coming in the form of Jax Jones and Callum Scott? Come on. Just chilling on the Yeah. Just, I mean, <laughs> do you know, on this sunny day, the shade yeah. is actually perfect. Um, talk to me about what it means to be here as, as, music, as musical artists. It's an amazing opportunity, real great honour to be surrounded with so much talent and people that you look up to, you see on the on the screens every day, man. It's amazing. Do you guys still get starstruck? Yeah. 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 You're walking around, you're like, oh my God, Kate Winslet is just walking by me now. Yep. I yeah. was gas performing to Kate Winslet's photograph on the chair <laughs> prior. I put that photograph down there, by the way. There Come on, we're, <laughs> we're making sure that the scene yeah. plan is just right. OK, let me ask you this. If you could have, I know you've already DJed on a few well-known TV shows, but if you could have another DJ DJ cameo on a TV show right now, British TV, what would it be? Oh, I'd like to do a party scene. Yeah. Something like Top Boy that was nominated here, yes, right? Yeah, well, something that's like that. That's yeah. Top Boy's over there. We'll have to put, we'll have to excuse put the me. Word in. But oh, one of my performances has been nominated. Hey. Technically, Ooh. the Platy Jubes that's Best it. Live Event. That's there it. Come on. And you, just fresh from the coronation as well. Fresh from just yeah. for the king casually on a Sunday afternoon. You did that. that. Was crazy. You did that just in his back garden. There we go. Yeah, yeah, as you do. Yeah. We'd take that as well, pop royalty. And what does it mean to be with, with, uh, with Jack's here tonight? I mean, it's always a pleasure. He's like a brother from another mother. He's honestly he's such a lovely guy. Um, just being here and getting to perform again. Last time we did it was uh, South Africa for yeah, Love Island. Love Island. So yeah, so I just buzz to be back. Anything I can do with this guy, honestly. There we he's go. The we, look, we cannot wait to see you guys on the stage. Jack Jones, Callum Thank Scott. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Boom. It is such a masterpiece what you kids oh have God. created. Can you Michelle and Sasha saying this to us. I believe this is real. Your performance, both of you, crazy Jen. Crazy. Please. But lovable, kind of. In the end, uh, we, 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 we get there. We get yeah, there because yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's suspicious. Yes. It's very suspect. suspicious. But it's very sad. Daisy, what you went through, and then I'm um, no spoiler alert because no people spoilers. are still finding it. But at the end, it's like, oh, oh, oh. oh. A twist uh, upon a twist. Ollie. Yeah. You. Okay, so is there a season two? Yes, we're yes. right. We're right at the moment. Can I so, be yeah. in it? Yes! Oh, oh my absolutely. god! Absolutely! Yes! What can I do? What can I do? That's oh my god! Okay. Can well, I be a crazy play Jen next season? I'm not just be a crazy <laughs> neighbor. I'll be a crazy neighbor. Oh my god. Yeah. The crazy American that moves in. Can we please do this? She's watching to you. This has can to you, happen. Would you actually do it? We've got yes. everybody filmed. I'm doing it. Now. I'm doing it. You've agreed. Yes, done. Would you? Yeah. Yes, deal. Gentlemen handshake. Deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank oh you. my god. Daisy oh. May Cooper, <laughs> Celine Hensley. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bad Sisters Gang, welcome to BAFTA. Yeah. My fangirl heart is screaming because this show put so much fire in my belly as a woman watching it. How was it to make it? Because, wow, well, a journey. It was pretty amazing because we all got on so well. We genuinely got on really well. I'm not just saying that for, you know, because it sounds good. Um, Sharon Horgan, obviously, cast incredibly well, along with Jervla and the Merman and Apple team. And they put together a bunch of sisters that really felt like sisters and mm -hmm. pals. So the dynamic and the crack and the energy and everything was, was, was perfect. Because the love and loyalty of family yeah. all together That's and all it. through on our own families and our own experiences and channeled, channeled our hatred and loathing. <laughs> you get permission to do that. Yes. I can get told you're acting, that's wonderful acting when you do it. Yeah, we had a glorious time making it. Like Derba set up a really lovely comfortable atmosphere before we started shooting. Um, we all hung out for like two weeks and she brought us swimming in a kiddies pool. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not often you. That, it's not often you get to direct in your swimsuit, but I can tell you, it's very intimidating as a director being in your swimsuit with these girls. Oh please, all all gorgeous, all vital, all so strong. I mean, look, this this uh, show was you know based on based on another previous series. Um, how did you approach kind of making it your own and also making it so beautifully Irish as well? Um, I think. Uh, well. The, the, close, the, the, the themes and the stories are similar to the original, mm -hmm. but I think setting it in Ireland and Sharon's unique approach to making it an Irish family and all the kind of banter and type of um, colloquialisms and exchange that, that are, I think, uniquely Irish. I mean, the love and the loyalty and the themes are universal. Of course. And then we um, set it in a part of uh, Dublin that's not normally seen um, on a on television normally you see inner city Dublin or the west of Ireland and then we kind of really leaned into the fact that they love to swim and that they were girls on the edge and islanders and um, yeah kind of brought a water theme into it and made them water babies and I think the universality of that we all have we all have a bro no uh, a member of family who we try and avoid sitting beside oh, at the Christmas, I know, that's at the right. Christmas table. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, isn't it? I think dysfunction is so normal. I think this show... We can all relate to it. Well, that's it. I think everybody can relate to it. Not, not mm. necessarily the, the murderous side. Yes, maybe not that. But the family dynamics, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. And what was the feedback like uh, from, from viewers, all of you, like, individually, you know? I mean, for these amazing. Yeah, okay. And ongoing. Like, it's still just getting the most wonderful, positive feedback, yeah, which is just gorgeous. Course, all genders, all ages. Mm. Like, I think it really brought families together, you know? I think having it, you know, coming out week by week as well really helped, kind of build momentum and word of mouth and yeah, it seemed like it was a show that people sat down together to watch rather than doing it on your own, right? Mm. And who would have thought that the most essential fashion accessory would become an eye patch? Hey, listen, because <laughs> 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 eye patch. made that eye patch work Sexy like hat. a boss, That's really like a boss. Yeah. Um, I want to talk to you for much longer, but listen, sadly we've run out of time, but look guys, thank you so very much thank for your time you. and honestly congratulations on Honestly, one of the best shows that I've seen for a very, very long time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, uh, we are here with some of our favorite Dairy Girls. We've got Jamie Lee O'Donnell. Yes. I said it right. Not Jamie Lang. Right, because everybody wants to make All her... Americans call me Jamie Lang. And Lisa McGee. Hello. No, we we talk. We say Jamie Lynn because of Jamie Lynn Spears. Yeah, and I'll take it. Right, <laughs> exactly. I'll take it. And Lisa. You are the creator of Dairy Girls. Yes. Yeah. Talk to me how that came about because it is so irreverent, it is so funny, it is so funny, it is so wrong. And your little um, Llewellyn, help me, Dylan, Dylan yep. yes. who's in Big Boys, is hysterical and so he's good. so good in your show. How did this come to you? I always wanted to write something about my school days because I felt like you never really saw young girls on screen just being really cheeky and getting in trouble. It was always the boys that were having all the fun. Right. So I wanted to just kind of correct that a wee bit maybe, you know? Well, Michelle gets in trouble all the time well, over yeah. here. Aye, but that's like a true dairy girl, do you know what I mean? When it's teenagers up to no good and just being, not, not considered consequences right. or the fact that the world's a bit dangerous, you're just like, fuck it, let's do it. Exactly. Are we allowed to swear? No. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Don't worry. So, now that it's over, do we get anything else? Can we do a, a film, as you would say? A film? Um, there's no plans for that. Why not? Well, I think they're all... What about you? We all turned 18, so it's a bit difficult. We're uni. They're all too successful. Oh, they're all doing all our things. Okay, so fair enough. Yeah. But I think there's so much love in this family community that you've built. I think uh, about gift. Seeing it's like yeah. a different stage of life. Yes. As opposed to your teens. I was like, yeah, you, you need a few years before we do that gap. Jerry yeah. Grammys, tattoos, your face and all, just like <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Real, real absolutely. The place. absolutely. I think it's a good gap between it and then come yeah. back to what we're up to. Are you writing because something new now? I am, yeah. I'm writing like a comedy thriller type thing. Comedy it's thriller. Very, very early days, so okay. I'm at the writing stage. So I love it'll that. Be a while. Well, I thank you for giving us our Jerry Girls. Uh, and of course, I think you're just amazing, Jamie. You know how much I love you. I know, I love you. And I love people saying, look alike I'm delighted you, you look like my child you absolutely can be it. my child I love it <laughs> continued success to both of you good thank luck you, with everything you. you look beautiful you're well. amazing you're amazing as well thank you <laughs> Listen, with my Ghanaian sister, an actor that has given us so much range, from time travel to the seaside to running a hospital, free, free badge of I like, babe. Welcome to the red carpet. Thank you. 
thank you so much. You look stunning. As do you. <gasps> BAFTA, it is all happening. These things are quite overwhelming, aren't they? Yeah, I, I find them a little bit overwhelming. Do you think everybody does secretly? I think everybody does, but that's the exciting part as well, right? Yeah, it's like a little surge of adrenaline mm. on the back of that kind of anxiety. It's kind of a fusion. <laughs> uh, anxiety aside, like, how fab is it just to be amongst your like fellow actors? It is so good. Do you know what? I actually did that. I When you, you find out you're coming and everything, and you're like, oh gosh, what's the expectation? What am I going to do? And then you sort of start check, checking in with your mates, and everyone's like, yeah, are you there on Sunday? You hang out? And you're like, oh yeah, let's just go chill and have a nice time. It feels like it's almost like the big like group staff meeting for the TV industry. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, you feel me? Cool, wicked. Yeah. See you there. Yeah. Um, so tonight, you're giving out an award. Yes. Uh, which award are you giving out? Uh, mini series. Now, that's really exciting. Yeah, it really is. Because as an actor, you, know, you get to really stretch yourself doing mini series in, in a different way, maybe, to film. Do you know that? That's so interesting that you say that. I was in a taxi last night and the driver said, I really enjoy watching series. He said, I like films, I'm a film buff, but with series, you get to really know characters. You spend hours and hours of your life with them and see them develop and grow. And I was sitting in the back going, Oh, yeah. The, the, I mean, it's all wonderful and it yeah. all has its merits, but the difference between having two hours to develop and grow a person versus two years mm. <laughs> or however long is amazing. And then did you turn to him and say, and then start streaming Dreamland? Yeah, I was like, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> and how, fun, how fun was that to make besides the seaside? It was, for so many reasons, it was incredible because I've been working stateside for the last, mm. I know, 10 years and I was really wanting to come home. And when this came up, to be part of something that's so English in its essence was like a homecoming in every sense. I've got to get my teeth into that and, and come home and see my family, see my tribe, see my friends, um, and to stretch myself in a different direction because I've never done comedy before. Mm, you're um, very funny. You got a funny bone. You know you got a funny bone. <laughs> I, like, I don't have to say that. You're funny. <laughs> It's a skill. All it's right. a gift. <laughs> it's no change. Uh, Freeman, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> thank you, And Clara. have the best time up there. Thank you, baby girl. Good hey. to see you. <laughs> the late-ish show with Mo Gilligan, of course. The star of that would be Mo Gilligan. Yes, that is me. That is me. It's not about me, though. No. It, it's my show. It's at my, it's at my house, but everyone's a guest and everyone's invited. So we make sure it's a party on a Friday night, ends your week on a high, and starts your weekend on a high. Was that your thing? Was that your idea to be like, you know what, I want to move it into my house, into my yeah, set? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Because the best parties are the house parties. And, and it always, then, You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you got, you know, our conversation area where we're on the sofa, which is our, our kitchen. Right. Then we got the dance floor, which is our main floor. We got a band, which is our music. So we have a bit of everything for everybody. I yeah. love that. Do you love doing yeah. it? Yeah, I absolutely love it, Michelle. Because oh you do, gosh. you have like 10 shows on right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell me about That's My Jam. <laughs> oh, yeah, you was on That's um, My Jam. Not only was I on Come it. on, you smashed it, man. Yeah, man. Me and Alicia Dixon, we won. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what my favorite line you said was when you said, um, hey, honey, disco never dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's spoken like an old person. And yeah. you know what? I love disco. <laughs> yes, no, but you said it with conviction. I felt it when you said it. But no, thank you for doing it as well. So much fun. It was fun. an amazing show. Do we have more coming back? Um, I can't confirm, okay. more than I. Okay, copy that. <laughs> Is there anything, like, do you want to move into the other side of stuff? Acting or just producing or doing something other than just being Mo Gilligan? Yeah, I think I would love to, but I'll take every step as it comes. Right. Like, I've only been doing this for a couple of years, so I think for me it's just like taking baby steps and just seeing whatever comes and stuff. I'm, I'm doing an animated film Are you? at the end of the year. Yeah, How my, fun. that's my first kind of movie role. And what are you playing? Um, I'm playing a cat. Yeah, it's a film called Ten Lives, so I'm playing a cat, an amazing cast. Um, so that's like my first kind of taste of that kind of world a little it's bit. It's your first time doing an animated thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's or much like better. Acting. You don't yes. have to look this good oh, when you man, do it. Oh, man, we're in the booth, and yes. then we're doing like, like voices, and I'm being a cat, and I'm trying to get into the method acting of what a cat would be <laughs> like, climbing up a drain pipe. It's, it's, it's fun stuff, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. love it's that for you. Well, that's what it is. I think the world is your oyster, Mo. You are a superstar. Oh, thank you so I much. I think you're so good at what you do. Yes. And good luck to you Thank tonight. you so much, man. Enjoy your back. And, and um, yeah, get me on RuPaul's Drag Race. I really want to go on. Yeah, sashay, you stay and all that stuff, Shantay, man. Shantay, you stay. Yeah, you know. Sashay, what? <laughs> I'll teach you. I'll <laughs> yeah. get you on. I'm all here for it, man. All right. 100%, yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard that I am 100% all here for it. All right, I yes. got you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mogilla. Appreciate you. Thank you, Michelle. Take care. Take care. Have a lovely evening. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, you can take my microphone. Oh, I don't know if you had.
Now, let me tell you something. As somebody who is lucky enough to work in television and in music and in radio, when it comes to the combining of those three, everybody wants the Jules Holland seal of approval. Jules. You've got mine. Listen, thank you very much. Your dress has got mine. Well, thank you very much. Listen, man, you are just that guy. Your TV show is truly iconic, nominated this evening. Uh, how does that make you feel after all these years? Because well, we've never working. had one before. Yeah. It makes me feel really privileged and honoured. You know, the awards, not awards, and, you know, this one means ever such a lot. And it's not just for me, it's for all the people that have ever been on the show, all the people who have worked on the show over the years, all the musicians, all the music, 30 years of it. And it's great, it's a great finish. So even if we don't get to win, we won't be bursting into tears because we've won already, we're here. Well, that's it. And you know what, to do a show for 30 years, what a beautiful privilege, right? Yeah, and unbelievable. For 30 years and then and our New Year's Eve, and then doing all that music. And, and it's also, it's built up this huge archive for the nation, really, for the BBC. They've got this vast archive of all these artists, some at the ends of their careers, some at the very beginnings of their careers, some people at the prime of their careers. It, uh, and of course, it's been a home for a lot of music that doesn't have a home elsewhere. So I'm really delighted and honoured to, for it to be recognised. And not just for me, because people say, Jules, how do you do it? Well, the simple answer is I don't a lot of the time. It's all the amazing <laughs> people that work on the show that do it. So. You have got an incredible team. Uh, let me ask you this. What is it about capturing music performance on TV that you think makes it so special, especially in the way that you guys do it, whether it's Hootenanny or the regular show? I think one of the keys to it over the years I've learned is to be the servant of the song and not try and impose some extra televisual thing on it. Just stand back and let let them let it be and just observe it and then let the people do what they let, let them be themselves. That's the key to it I think. Yeah. Well that's the great thing is it because every single person that ever comes on your show always says I watched this show as a kid. That must be such a edifying that's, feeling. That is the thing now which is great actually. It really is great. It's a great sort of thing and, and I'm, I'm very much hoping to be one of those people maybe in another 20 years when there was somebody grew up watching the show that is then a megastar and wants me to come along with them and I'll be on tour when I'm sort of 90 so I'm really looking forward to it but it, is great. It's, but it is great it is great because it's you realize as well I think people I, um, look at music differently now it used to be that they were very tribal in the way they consume the music now it's completely changed people are much more open to all different sorts of music they're much less snobby you know it's not, not like well, I like folk music so I can't like reggae or I like heavy metal so I can't like skiffle or whatever it is that's gone which is great people yeah. are really open and can see and it's like it's my age or gender or race or anything related it's all to do with just the music you love and I think people are so much more open now and we've been very fortunate on the show to have all those different things you know some of the best loved people have been very old and very young it's just great I think it's a wonderful thing music and I'm constantly learning something new every time I do the show somebody does something I think wow I never knew that you know so that's the great thing about music it's sort of a mystery the more you know about it the more of a mystery it becomes right on Jules thank you so so much it's a pleasure thank you very much Clara. and best of luck for tonight thank you and you too have a great oh, topic Jules Holland you. we love you thank you bye <laughs> oh I'm so excited because we are here with the one and only Danny Minogue Hi. hello darling how are you so you know I don't think we've ever properly met we haven't but I've watched you so much on TV and I've, I've listened to podcasts and I, I feel like I know you. You do. And we want to see you in Australia. We want to, you know, we want to grab you and have you out there. Oh, I would love to. Yeah. It is my honor and my pleasure to get myself out there. But you have a new show. I do. And it's in my wheelhouse. So let's talk about I Kissed a Boy. I Kissed a Boy uh, for BBC Three, the first ever gay dating show for the UK. It's about damn time, as it's Lizzo says. It's about time. Yes. And it's fun, and the boys all come from very different backgrounds, mm. and the first thing they do is kiss. Mm. And you see the electricity, and then... Or not, not, right? Yeah, or not. Right. And then we think, but we've worked hard to match make them so that we hope that it does work out for them. It's not one of those dating shows where it's like, Sabotage. we want them to be like, ah, what are you doing yeah. to me? No, we want there to be love, because the world needs love I agree. right now is it yeah. so, is it the most fun thing i mean you've done a lot and they said oh it's filming in italy and i said wait a prosecco <laughs> i'm there i'm there where in italy did you film in puglia oh my goodness yeah i'd never been there before and it was just did you eat your way through the filming well where i was staying they had olive trees where the base of them was like this big they were a thousand years old oh my goodness it was you know that beautiful you know italian heritage a 
food and I could imagine. And love and Absolutely. Well, yeah. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for I Kissed a Boy. It premieres. So it goes out tonight. Oh my goodness, Straight that's what I thought. I was the thinking about the date. Tonight at 9 okay. o'clock. Yeah, it's also on iPlayer, so right. yeah, you can see it there. I Kissed a Boy, Danny Minogue, tonight after the Baptist and then yeah. on iPlayer. Thank you so much. Thank you. I will see you in Australia. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Danny Minogue. The most hardest working eyebrows yep. in the business. I wonder why you're pointing at my forehead. <laughs> I knew a unibrow joke was on the way. It's iconic. Yeah. It's iconic. Well, look, two brows, uh, two previous BAFTA nominations. Mm. It's like you planned it. Um, Munya, your documentary is so fantastic. How Thank to you. survive a dictator. Um, how important was it for you to show this other side of yourself? Because you're so used to making us laugh. Oh, yeah. And this time you really made us like, well, think mm. and learn, learn about you. Oh, my God. Uh, so important because. You know, Zimbabwe and my childhood in Zimbabwe, it was just unbeatable. Like all of my like extroversion and my sense of adventure, my sense of humor, all of it comes from there. So I, I needed to do a film based on that, you know, about being there. And, you know, we, we've got sketches in there. So, you know, explaining colonization via supermarket sweep. <laughs> don't know if that's been done before, I but we did it. it has, no. <laughs> but that's the thing, Minnie, you bring so much light uh, to everything you do, especially when it is around, like, you know, serious stuff. So I've got to ask you, uh, what is next on the on the skit list? Because, listen, people mm. always say, like, the devil works fast from Minnie Chihuahua. Yeah. Which my Christian father hates, by the way. <laughs> um, are, you, are you constantly thinking about what's next? All the time. Yeah, um, I, I almost wish Matt Hancock was here so I could just start thinking about a song on the spot. But generally, I'd say I'm living a bit of acting at the moment. Yes. You know, and in the Marvel universe, we don't hear much from five foot seven heroes with massive eyebrows, and I want to see that representation. So Marvel, give me a call. Well, you haven't got my number, but give me a call. Well, we've already seen you in a few bits and bobs. Yes. Sweet Tooth, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Yeah. What is your kind of dream role um, as an actor outside of like the Munyaverse? I mean. You know, people are constantly comparing me to The Rock. So I feel like any films about his life, the, the hairline's pretty much there, to be honest. So, I mean. you know what I mean? So yeah, any, anything to do with The Rock or any other sort of six foot sex gods, I think is a good fit. You know, method. Yeah, I'm, method. I'm here for it. You I'm still, I'm, this is me being The Rock right now. No, I can, I can, you can feel it. I can actually smell what The Rock is cooking. Uh, it's too good. How too about good. that? <laughs> Um, okay, Munya, who is next on your list to kind of collaborate with? Because you're, you're so oh. cool at like, bring, uh, bringing people in as well. Oh, yeah. To your skits, mm. to your docs. It has to be Nigella. You know, Nigella, Nigella has become one of my top three most popular characters. And I never knew that me talking about buttery flaps on Pancake Day would be a career breakthrough, but it has been. So, Nigella, if you're watching this, it has to happen. Munjella, I think, needs to happen. Oh, yeah, you know. On. Let's, you know I mean? let's get you micro arveing together. How oh about my that? God, yeah, if you can make that happen, free pancakes for life. Thank you. Uh, now, Munya, thank mm. you so very much for joining thank us tonight. You. Thank you. For I'm holding me. your hand, wishing you the best of luck uh, for this evening. And regardless of whatever happens, man, you stay a winner. Come on. Okay, okay. Here we go. Munya. Me versus Munya. David Ambra. Here we go. <laughs> Squaring up. Well, the guests are starting to take their seats at the BAFTA TV Awards with P and O Cruises. And so that is it from us, live from this glorious red carpet. It has been an absolute pleasure. We hope you've enjoyed yourselves as much as we have. We will leave you in the very capable hands of Rob Beckett and Ramesh Ranganathan. Good night, Good night everybody. What an incredible job Clara and Michelle have just done. They had style, they had charisma, a genuine rapport. They were brilliant. I think they should host it, don't you? They, they're better than us. Yeah, all right. They shut actually up, get on. Yeah, yeah, shut like up, Rob. Shut, shut. Right, it's time for the main ceremony. We've got to head to stage to host the show. We'll see you all at 7 p.m. on BBC One. They were good, they were good Shush. though, weren't they? I thought they were great. Is this on still? Okay. <laughs>